Oh my god, you're finally here! Yes! Ah, I've missed you! No, I've missed you! Come on in! Wow, so this is your place now, huh? Well, it doesn't feel right to call it my place when I live with seven other people, but yeah, at least I have my own room. Well, it's super nice. Yeah, I gotta give you a tour. Um, what is going on in here? Who is this? Hey, I'm Claudia. I'm Claudine's sister. Uh, hi. That's great and all, but why are you in our house? Claudia, this is Abby, my bossiest roommate. Sorry, Abby. I guess I forgot to tell you I invited some of my siblings over tonight. Some of your siblings? You mean there's more? Yep. So when's everyone else getting here? They should be here any second now. But don't worry, there's only two more coming. Only two more? So there's still gonna be three randos in our house that already has way too many people living here? Abby, don't freak out. I just invited them over for dinner. It's been a while since we've hung out, so I just wanted to catch up with my siblings. Fine then. They better not be as annoying as Heath, though. I've already been having daily migraines since he moved back in. Well, I can assure you they aren't as bad as Heath. Sorry for the late notice. I guess I forgot to tell you guys they were coming over. There they are! Hey, guys! Claudine, it's so good to see you! Hey, girl! Come on in, everyone! Oh, I brought over my new kitten, by the way. I hope you don't mind. Oh, great. They brought an animal. His name is Fangs. We found him in an abandoned alley a few weeks ago. He's still a little feral, so I didn't think we should leave him home alone while we were gone. So you brought him here? Yeah, but don't worry. He won't bite. <coughs> hey, everyone! Whoa, what's all the commotion about down here? Uh, what are all these people doing here? Apparently, Claudine decided to invite her siblings over for dinner without telling us. Oh, and good news, they brought a wild animal with them. What? Yeah, come say hi to my roommates. Guys, these are my siblings, Claudia, Claude, and Howleen. And these are a few of my roomies, Frankie, Raven, and Cerise. These are the normal ones. You'll meet the psycho roommates later. Did I hear someone say psycho roommate? Didn't I tell you guys to stop talking about me behind my back? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who are all these people? Uh, yes. And this is my roommate, Heath. Heath, these are my siblings. They're here for dinner. Um, I don't remember allowing you to have over guests. Well, it's not really up to you. All right, I'm going to show my family around the house for a bit now. Follow me, guys. Ugh, the nerve on her! She hasn't even lived here two months and she starts throwing giant dinner parties with no warning? That's my thing! As much as I hate to agree with Heath, I think he's right about this one. This is not cool. I was gonna make a family-sized chicken pot pie, take it up to my room, eat the entire thing, and then pass out and sleep until noon tomorrow. Now there's no way I'll be able to bake a whole chicken pot pie without Claudine's invasive family catching wind of it and asking to share. My plans for the night are ruined. Yeah, I'm surprised she would do all this without telling us. Having three extra people around is kind of a lot. Well, at least they're only staying for dinner, right? How bad can they possibly be? Okay guys, dinner is served. Let's eat and catch up. I feel like it's been forever. Things have been so weird at home without you. I bet. I can't believe how much I missed you guys. It makes me wonder why I even wanted to move out in the first place. We miss you too, but it's nice getting to have my own room now. Same. I don't miss sharing a bunk bed with you. All right, now you guys have got to tell me everything, including the story of how you adopted a feral cat. Well, this kind of sucks. Yeah. Frankie, do you still think Claudine's family having dinner here isn't so bad? We've been banished from our own kitchen. I mean, it's not the best, but come on guys, it's just one dinner. Eating in the living room for one night isn't such a big deal. Oh no, I better make sure they didn't raid the fridge. My alcohol stash is in there. Ah! Jackie, what's wrong? There was a cat in our hallway upstairs, so I tried to pet it and it bit me. Ow, it really hurts. Oh no, that must have been Helene's cat. That's weird, she said it was friendly. Um, did you see that thing? That cat is not friendly. Yeah, I'd be concerned about that if I were you, Jackson. That cat is feral or something. What? Feral? I'm not gonna get rabies, am I? I would not rule out the possibility of rabies. Ah! Everyone stay calm. I'll just go ask Helene if she thinks we should be worried. Jackson, you stay here. So, Helene, you completely took over my room, huh? Well, it was never really your room to begin with since we shared it, but yeah. Cool, cool. You didn't take down my posters, though, did you? Yeah, I took them down. The Jonas Brothers aren't exactly a hot topic anymore, Claudine. You touched my Jonas Brothers poster? How many times have I told you not to lay a hand on that? You moved out! Uh, guys? Sorry to interrupt, but I think your cat just attacked Jackson. What? Fangs wanted her to fly. Well, he just bit Jackson a minute ago. Didn't you say he was feral? Should we be worried? Yeah, you might want to get that checked out. Oh no! There's like a 90% chance that cat has rabies. 
Whatever. Can we get back to the real problem here? I can't believe you took my Jonas Brothers poster down! Guys, it's not a big deal. It's just a poster. Stay out of this, Claudia! Ooh, things are heating up. I knew this would be a mess. Uh, we have a problem. Yeah, Howlene just told me Jackson might be in trouble. He's already in trouble. <sighs> ah! Jackie! We need to get him to the hospital now. Oh, this is bad. Come on, Jackie, we gotta go! Well, so much for a simple family dinner. Jackson might have rabies and Claudine and her siblings are starting to fight in the kitchen. What are you talking about? They were excited to see each other like five seconds ago. Well, not anymore. Come look! You've always been like this, Howleen. I swear you have no boundaries. Well, maybe I threw away your poster because when we shared a room, you were always too bossy to let me put up my own posters. Wait, you threw it away? Yup, I never liked the Jonas Brothers anyway. You take that back right now! You two are so immature. Maybe that's why you guys were forced to share a room in the first place. No one else wanted to put up with you guys. Excuse me? Wanting to have my own room decor without Claudine bossing me around does not make me immature. Maybe not, but fangirling over boy bands does. Being obsessed about One Direction is not much better than being obsessed about the Jonas Brothers. What, what did, did you, you say? say? Oh no. No one disses One Direction. They're overrated. Blasphemy! Yeah, this is bad. You don't start insulting One Direction and make it out of a dinner party alive. Should we call the cops or something? This could get violent. I was so wrong earlier. I now remember exactly why I moved out. And I take back what I said. I don't miss you. And please don't move back in. Oh, trust me, I won't. This dinner party is over. All of you guys out. I thought we were having dessert. You think you're getting dessert after what you said about Harry Styles? No way! Get out of here! Ugh! Goodbye then, sis. Yeah, it has not been nice seeing you again. Ugh, just leave and take your stupid rabid cat with you. Fangs is not rabid! I mean, he might have rabies, it's just not confirmed yet. Well, tell that to Jackson who was foaming at the mouth earlier. Ugh! Let's get out of here. Bye, Wolf Family! Uh, nice meeting you guys. Well, that's the last time I ever tried to do something nice for them. I can't believe I ever forgot why I moved out. Yeah, next time can you not drag us into your family drama? Or give us a heads up at least? I would have made some popcorn if I knew I was gonna get a free show tonight. Sorry guys, I didn't think this would happen. I mean, I did miss my family, but seeing them again reminded me that we get along a lot better when we're not living together. Well, at least that's over. Just tell us before you invite your entire family over next time. Ugh, is Claudine's family gone? Yep, they just left. Good! I don't like having strangers in my house. Actually, I don't like having anyone in my house unless I'm the one hosting a party. Well, I'd better go clean up the kitchen. We're lucky things ended when they did. If Claudia kept insulting Harry Styles, I don't think I would have been able to stop myself from starting a food fight. Excuse me? Who insulted Harry Styles?! Why don't we help you clean up? Wow, what a night! <sighs> um, what happened here? Oh, you missed it! Jackson got bit by Howleen's feral cat and almost died of rabies. What? Rabies? Ew! Well, we have some good news! It turns out Jackson doesn't have rabies after all. But his bite wound is infected. The doctors just put him on some antibiotics. Poor Jackie had to get his blood drawn and get a few shots, so he's a little out of it. Oh. Yeesh. Well, I'm gonna go. I don't think it's too late to put that chicken pot pie in the oven after all. I could really go for some comfort food right now. Ooh, save Jackie a piece! He loves chicken pot pie! Nope! No one is gonna ruin the rest of my night. Sorry, Jackson. Oh.